I usually just play like games I can play by myself. Like my favorite yeah. video game is like Bloodborne, but Rocket League is, uh, has a great, great emotional uh, weight in my household. I like when this was brought up, I don't think I said no because everyone was like, like my, my, <laughs> my brother was like, no. you better, you better fucking do it. And like, also, <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. I, was, like, I get like, it really jealous him, him and um all my friends who are like super addicted were, were like this isn't fair like this because i have another friend who's a musician who is part of the rocket league um i guess their their crew so uh yeah he's quite jealous oh my <laughs> yeah no i mean just being able to say hey you know i'm a rocket league hey open up the game i'm i'm there okay i'm literally there. that is so that's so cool to see. And also let's just let's just talk about, you know, being being able to bring your audience to like to Rocket League and being able to bring that to them. Do you okay, I'm trying to figure out how to phrase this. But do you do you think that you'd ever just play play how do I say this? Sorry. I'm I'm bumbling. I'm nervous. I'm a huge fan, okay? If you don't sue me, I love your music. You're fantastic. I wanted to I wanted to ask if there is any way that you know, maybe you'd play Rocket League on stream or like, or play any other games? Or are you more just like a, a relaxed game where you just play, play by yourself and, and just relax? I twitched once Bloodborne. Yeah. And I actually, and I came to a very hard boss and I stayed alive for like 20 minutes, but I didn't survive. But I would definitely twitch Rocket League. I, uh, I just got a gaming PC for Christmas. So, yeah. Wait, that Thick. Wait, that's awesome. Yeah, no, I'm really stuck about it. So I, I actually might start twitching like this week or something. Actually, I was just like talking about that with my team. Like, why not? Like, if I'm gonna play video games and a good, a good game now that I can like finally, I moved to Texas. Uh, my PS4 situation is in LA, so now it's time. Oh. To, never got a PS5. Now it's time to um, yeah, I don't know, start gaming again. I guess. Yeah, so no, I'll twist pocket. No, please do, please do. And if you ever do, let me know. I'm down. I'm down to game because that'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. Just being able to see like musicians like tie into video games, especially like nowadays. It's really, it's really awesome to see that you know that transition and just com combination of worlds. I okay. So specifically, I want to talk about your music release. Okay, you've been teasing this for a year. Your your song, and I wanted to ask how. How excited are you that you're finally able to talk about it and just release the music? Um, I'm like really stoked. I mean, the reason I was teasing it so long is because mm -hmm. I'm getting in a fight with everybody about which songs, like which songs are going to be first. But I just like, I have a problem where I never, I always fight the single, like even like Oblivion and Genesis back in the day, I was like, these yeah. can't on the album. I was like, these are the worst songs I have. And my team was just like, no <laughs> this was a classic ex example um shinigami eyes is a classic example i was like guys this is not a single and literally like 40 people were like no this is the single it has to be the single so this is just like one of those situations where i like resist that i, I think my i'm much more experimental taste wise than yeah the majority of people so i always want to put out the my weird songs um <laughs> and it always goes it, this this is just the classic uh Grimes, whatever. I, I'm, I was going to say rigmarole, but I really don't even know if that is. <laughs> whatever. It's the classic Grimes rigmarole. I don't know what that word even means, but it sounds like it makes sense there. You know, it, it sounds like it makes sense. It makes sense. No. So, okay. So specifically, how long does it take you? So I, I, was, I was able to dive into the music side of things this past year, and it takes a long time to create some of these songs, especially if you have like a certain vision for it. So I just wanted to know how long did it take you to really finalize Shinigami Ai? I just, I can't even imagine. It must have either taken you a long time, but everyone, art, every artist is different. Shinigami was pretty fast, actually. We made most of it really? on, the, on the first day, yeah. Um, big. We just kind of like made it overnight. I went home and like made some edits and like made it faster because it used to be like really slow and then like went back in with Carlo. I don't know if you know Elangelo, who I made it with. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. he's like, this is one of the first songs I've ever made with another producer as well. Um, and then we just kind of like banged it out together. I f so I feel like it was like a three day, four day, three day thing max. 
Really? That's so cool. I mean, once you, you hear, you know the song, it's like, okay, this is next. And you just, you're in a group, right? Yeah, yeah. But some That's songs take like months of going back and forth and all that. So, yeah. yeah. That's three to four days oh my gosh that's that's quick you you guys knew you guys knew how long have you been producing music um i started producing music when i was it's now been like 10 years or something i think like damn like i think i put out my first album in like 2011 or 2010 mm -hmm. so that's like more than 10 years damn i it's, i should probably get another job at this point but you know mm -hmm. No, I mean, I think you're doing good. I'll, I'll be, I think you're doing very good with producing music. Um, okay, so. Some, how do you get into video games? What do you, like, what do you do at Rocket League? Ooh, okay, so I have been playing Rocket League for about five years, going on six you're, years. I'm still, oh, sorry? You're a streamer, right? Yes, so okay. I do, I do content creation, so like YouTube, streaming, I've been streaming for about, it's going to be six years this year. Damn. So that's my go-to. So I've been playing Rocket League a long time and just seeing it grow and just kind of ev evolutionize. It's been so cool to see. And I, I honestly love it with my whole heart. So you're going to be good and you, you will defeat me. No, no. See, here's the thing. Love playing it, but suffer, for some reason, the skill doesn't transfer over so I'm just kind of stuck at this wall. And then you see all these people doing like these crazy flips when they're playing Rocket League. Nope, not me. <laughs> not me. <laughs> yeah. My brother can do like the crazy flips, like drive up the wall and do some weird shit. But no, nope, not me. I just, I remember last year I had, um, I had a video of me hitting like the goalposts or like the crossbar right above. And I just <laughs> lived it down since. It's been a year and I'm like, that's really cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I also wanted to talk about, so specifically Shinigami Eyes, I've looked at majority of your teasers. The artistic detail you have in your music video is unreal. Is there any inspiration or any anything that you really draw your vision from? Because it is something, it's so unique and it's just so cool to see. Oh, yeah. So the video was actually this whole adventure. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Cause we were like, we really wanted to make the music video about sort of like um like i'm writing this kind of like weird space opera situation yeah. and we wanted there's like a it's sort of like cyberpunk swan lake and so yeah. like, like evil like black swan but it's like you know it's like way in the future and it's in a simulation so it's like the black swan is like a virus who entered has entered into the um simulation world and so the music video is about like this all powerful AI who's masquerading as like the best pop star of all time who can mm -hmm. like alter time and space because she's like literally, you know, like has unlimited power and has control, like can hack into the simulation and like change how everything looks like and just be moving between scenes. And so um, we shot the music video um, on this thing called an XR stage. I don't know if you know what that is. What, what is that? Um, they normally use it for like live stuff. Like they were very stressed when we went in there and we were like, we want to use uh, like cinema cameras in an XR stage. And they're like, ah, this is like for like sports shit or yeah. whatever. Um, but it's basically a stage. It, it's like basically live rendering in camera. So you can do crazy That's CGI. Cool. But it's, it's, it's using location technology to uh, basically render, like the, the shit behind us didn't look like that. But then it's like live rendering it like basically in real time in the camera um and it, yeah it's like super cool so we actually like the video it's so funny that with the video because we lost the whole first half of the day all the dance scenes no you did it the whole that's what well, the reason there's the, the crazy effects on the dance se sequences is because it took us we were like figuring it out we, they were like no one's ever done this before and we were like mm figuring out in real time like how to like make it look good um yeah and so half the shots have this cr crazy weird effect on them because like we were literally like figuring out the technology with the people who made like made it like right there like trying to like orient it into like a different kind of setting than it's ever used in so it was really fun and like we've actually been talking with the xr people about like should we all like throw in some money and try to like make the technology better so we can do even crazier shit? Um, oh, cause like you can't slow motion in, in it, for example. So we're like, 
That is on. That's honest. Okay. I'm surprised not not many people are talking about that. That you're one of the first artists to use that technology into your music video, and that's that is so cool. That's is there any other aspects of your music video that you want to try out in the future? Like, for example, like either a further elevating the technology that you use on the stage, or is there something that you want to do in in the future? Uh, I think we really want to, yeah, like basically put figure out how to push the technology further. I I made the yeah. video. Um, Excite, Stage, XR, and then Brother, um, like, who are some of my favorite directors. And, like, man, we spent, like, 10 hours on the phone and, like, doing, like, pre-prep and everything. And, I like, figuring out how to plan, plan this and make it work. And I think um, we've all been discussing, like, okay, yeah, like, investing a lot more time in, and with everybody on. Basically, we, we really want to figure out how to do slow motion in there. Because I usually... Yeah. See, a lot of slow motion for dramatic effect it, i just think it looks like in a music video like it look it just looks so much better yeah um, i think that's the big thing we want to do is figure out slow motion that would be cool especially with the whole stage and setup that you guys have going on wait so how yeah. long how long does it typically take to shoot a music video like that um i think we had to do the whole thing in like 10 hours for the shooting it was very we didn't have a lot of time there because like we yeah. like maxed out our budget but we edited this forever and like uh yeah I have to shout out Alex from brother because like he did mm -hmm. like a bunch of editing sent it to me I did a bunch of editing and then me and Alex literally spent I think I we did two days of 10 hours after all the other shit like like so like 20 me and Alex spent like 20 hours at the end just like it, it, it took this was like a very time consuming process the video yeah i okay well when you look at the video it's obvious you could see that it pays it pays off and that the amount of time and effort that you put into it is insane for for your costumes or like your outfits for your your opera that that you've been working <laughs> on is is that just one of your favorite parts to just really dive into because it's just so much detail or is there something that you work with that just was like here you know here's some cool ideas what what would you like because that's just it's so like the, i keep look, going back to the details because i'm just looking at it and just the designs on your hand i just can't get over it um so it usually starts like i kind of like come up with everything like i knew i wanted to like look that's me awesome. like like i wanted this character to be like uh like the long white hair and like that. I was almost like, should I just be naked? Um, but everyone's like, <laughs> can't be naked um, for a variety of reasons, including YouTube takedowns. But um, yeah. uh, with the costume that I worked with, Brett uh, um, Alan Neeson, I'm probably saying his name wrong. And the guy who actually made the suit, I need to get his name. I really should remember fucking name because it took him a really long, really long time to make that suit and also it like lit up and everything it was a whole thing and, yeah like, the pack and like he was like sewing it and like the pack broke at one point and he had he was like i think he was like soldering it back together like on set it, oh it was it was chaos but it was awesome but yeah. yeah really strong team that's awesome that is that is so cool i so when I was I was dabbling into music earlier on and just having those long shoot days of just like the music video, that can be a bit tiring and just really trying to get into the whole like mental space to be able to to shoot that. Is this okay? So you have Shin Shinigami Eyes coming out. Was do you have I'm, I don't know if you can talk about this, but do you have anything that you can talk about that you're working on in the future? Or is there like a roadmap that you're just like, oh yes, just wait, wait for, wait for it to come later this year? Or do you have any plans? There's a bunch of, we're basically in a giant debate about the plan right now. Cause the next single that mm -hmm. everyone, the, the next single everyone thinks is the single I've been resisting it as well. No! Um, <laughs> but I should probably just do it. I should probably just do it. Yeah. We shot, or, we shot a video for a song that isn't like a first single, um, that it, 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 we sort of shot it on iPhone, um, mm -hmm. but it was, it's like a, it's like the white swan, black swan, like fight scene. So like these two yeah. elite uh, concubine assassins fighting each other through the streets of Mexico City, but it's all shot on iPhone. That's uh, sick. It's very sick. It's, but it's like, because it's iPhone, we have, we're like editing it very carefully to make it not look too like DIY. Although yeah. it might, maybe we should lean into the DIY and just like, yeah, I'm not sure yet. But I mean, the concept, the concept you just explained, that's, I, I would click on it. I would see it, I would see it pop up on YouTube and I'd click on it. Have <laughs> there been 
a, a project that you've worked on previously that has been one of your favorites or a song that you just have really cemented? I was like, I love everything about this specifically. Um, I mean, the Player of Games video we did earlier was uh, like the single before this. Um, yeah. Like shooting that was like really amazing. Just coming up with that storyline. Like it was kind of based on um, mm -hmm. the Ingmar Bergman film where the guy's like playing chess with the devil. Yeah. Um, and then like if he like when he loses the chess game or the chess game finishes like he's gonna die or whatever and so we were like should we do the like pop version of that kind of thing yeah. like, um so yeah i don't know that that's that was one of my favorites besides shinigami which was like honestly very fun to make um but it was it but shinigami had a, it was a high stress it was a high stress scenario just because it's uh like when we're at like hour five and we still haven't got the first shot, everyone was like, Whoa. Oh my God. I can't even imagine just having, yeah, time constraints, especially when you're trying to focus all of your, all the, all the time and effort into a music video and only having five. Oh my God. You didn't have, I can't, I, I'm panicking for you. It's already happened in the past, but I'm panicking for you. It happens on almost every music video. Like, yeah. It, it always, like, getting started always just takes a really long time and then you're always, yeah. Oh, you're always behind schedule before you have like the first good shot and then you're always just like rushing but I feel like that's just the nature of the art form probably I don't know if, actually I don't know if other people experience this or just me but you know yeah no ab absolutely I mean it it's all about the first shot right so yeah. when you when you took the video do you show it to your parents and, and family before it's released do they get like a sneak peek or anything or do they do they have to wait oh I, I not uh, not the fans, because stuff leaks. Well, I leak stuff all the time to them, because I'm <laughs> really bad. My team's always like, did you leak the album cover? And I'm like, <laughs> but, um, uh, I always, like, run shit by my family and friends and stuff. And I'm like, is this good? Does this need to change? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's so cool. Like, I can imagine just your parents just looking at the video and be like, that's cool. Like, that's some dope stuff. Um, so I also want, uh, oh, sorry. I was gonna say, I don't know if my parents have seen this yet. I should probably send it to them. I don't know if they, no, <laughs> wait. <so> <laughs> <laughs> I'm just surprised. <laughs> yeah. Surprise moment, dad. Okay. So after all your, after all your releases and the music, I, I, is there anything you want to further describe to the, you know, whoever's watching this, especially in Rocket League, like a fun fact about the music video or the song that they don't know about? Like, I didn't know that it was 10 hours into the freaking music video. Like, that's insane for, to film all of that. That's short. Most music videos will be like, like we just had really age. Usually like a music video, like you're shooting like 16 hours a day or something. <sighs> like, that's yeah. a long time. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh my god. See? Yeah. Yeah, I just here, here coming from like a streamer, streamer POV, just like, oh, you know, eight hour day, that's a that's a long day. That's, oof, that's a long day, but it's it's so cool. On, like you have to be on. You're not stopping for like a makeup break. You know, like street streaming for eight hours yeah. seems insane. Like I do not think I could do that. That would be well I Every, like, with with streaming it's you just once you it's it's like a music video right once you get into the zone and you just you're mentally there it's just smooth sailing at least like from personal experience and i'm sure there's other other streamers that can attest to it but it is no it's really cool to see you final collab with with neon lights and everything and you know is there anything you would like to say to the people that are watching about your song um i don't know please listen to it <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, please, please, please listen to it. Because <laughs> you like in Rocket League, you like choose like your like your radio station. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. You get to pick the music that you can listen to, and if there's like yeah. a little goal explosion, if you yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sick, sick. So I don't know. Please choose Grimes, but you don't have to. You have free will. <laughs> no, that well. Thank you. Thank you again so much for, for being here and hanging out with me and just telling us more about Shinigami Eyes. By the way, if you're watching, make sure to go check out Neon Lights uh, or Neon Nights in game. Neon and, Night. Yes, yes. I said Neon Lights. I'm just like, oh, no. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you again so much for, for having me.
Thank you again so much. Thank you, thank no, you. And so much. It was so great to meet you. I'm glad we're both wearing our friends' shirts. Yes. Hopefully we'll get to play some Rocket League in the future. I would definitely love to. I would love to. Yes. Uh, well, thank you again so much. And I will be blasting your song when, uh, when we get it off here. So thank you again. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye.